It really is such a great thing. Special Olympics Rhode Island is near and dear to many of our hearts, and they wouldn't exist without its volunteers, coaches, trainers, officials, organizers, and yes, even the fans. All play an integral role in supporting athletes with intellectual disabilities. And here today to tell us all about it and how you can be a volunteer is president and CEO at Pachico, along with co-coach, she's right there, Roxanne Lichian. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning Will. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having us. First, do you want to say what a, talk about what a great day yesterday was and an amazing amount of money that uh, that was raised? Well, uh, how great is it that we're here on a Monday morning talking about our, the, the importance of our volunteers on the heels of an amazing weekend filled with hundreds of high school students at our Unified Champion Schools Plunge, members of law enforcement coming out for the torch run plunge, and of course, our super plungers that plunge for 24 hours straight. The entire weekend raised over $200,000 to support the athletes of Special Olympics. That really is just an incredible amount of money, so you're on your victory lap this morning. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> we so, feel good. So Ed, let's talk about the, um, if we can start off with you, about the volunteer recruitment process and how that all works, and, and what you folks are really in need of. Uh, to, to be part of the organization. Yeah, so here we are a few months out from the Summer Games, and, and obviously everybody knows uh, the importance of that event. But we're facilitating events, competitions, practices all throughout the year, 365 days a year. Around 1,000 competitions, practices, jamborees, tournaments. And it's a lot of uh, organizing and logistics that goes into that. Of course, there's only 14 staff at Special Olympics Rhode Island. Wow. So we're very reliant on our volunteers to come out and help facilitate all those experiences for our Special Olympics athletes. So we have roughly about uh, 3,000 volunteers of which 300 of them are coaches and assistant coaches. And they're helping to put these amazing events and exceptional experience together out on the court, out on the field to play to make sure that our athletes have the best possible experience at Special Olympics. And it really is just an incredible, an incredible day, incredible weekend when, when all of these athletes are on there. You are a co-coach. So first of all, talk to us about, tell us how you, you got involved in the program and what it means to you. And I'm sure this program has changed you in some way, for the better. It definitely has. Um, so my husband is the head coach of our team. So when we first started dating, very long time ago, um, <laughs> <laughs> I was showing up to things as just a spectator and just kind of fell in love with it. And I was like, well, I'm here at everything. I might as well sign up and become a volunteer and then ended up becoming a coach with him. That's how it all gets started, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were kind of guilt by association. Yes. How, is it, how has it changed you for the better? Because these, the, the, the folks at Special Olympics are incredibly just good people yes. who give you know, their heart and soul every day. Um, and the, the, the athletes themselves really are just, they're upbeat, they're happy, they want to be there. And that is uplifting, I'm sure, for you. Yes, and very humbling. No matter what, they are always smiling. They could have had a bad day the day before or right before practice, but they come to practice and you know they're there with a smile, they're ready to practice, they're ready to shoot basketballs, run the track, whatever it's sport they may be, right. and they're just always super happy. All right, Roxanne, what is your specialty? Is there a sport that you are like, you know, you're really kicking butt on? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite to coach is basketball. Okay. Um, the athletes kind of get a kick out of the fact that I'm so small and play basketball. <laughs> and not to point out, but she was complaining about the chairs because her feet, <laughs> she's, her feet were swinging, so she is. <laughs> so that one is my favorite because um, I also enjoy the competitiveness that yes. the athletes have in it. Um, and second is powerlifting because to watch these athletes you know, deadlift 300 pounds is just incredible. 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 And one of our athletes hit a, uh, you know, personal record yesterday of 295 he deadlift. Wow. And it's just incredible. It was amazing. That's, um, that really is amazing. Ed, if someone is out here this morning and they're watching this morning, they want to be part of this incredible organization or be part of the uh, Special Olympics events that you have, how can they go about doing that? And what, wh who are you really looking for? So we're anyone okay. uh, who has the time that they're willing to give back to, to their community. We're inviting them to be a part of the Special Olympics Rhode Island family. Family. All you have to do is visit specialolympicsri.org, O-R-G, and fill out the volunteer form is that you're interested in being a volunteer with us. And we have one message for everybody. Give a little, you gain a lot, as you heard from Roxanne sure. here today. Our community is an amazing one to be a part of. Our athletes, we give it all for them, 
but we get so much more out of it with I'm learning sure. from their inspiration and, and we'd love for folks to be a part of that with us. It takes a lot. I mean, I, it takes a lot and I know a lot of folks around here did the plunge yesterday. So yeah. you're obviously doing something right to get people to jump in that cold yeah. water. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here and best Thank of you, luck. Will. Is there an age, is there an age limit for the? Uh, 16, 16 and up, okay. uh, but certainly uh, families are welcome to come out and volunteer with us. Uh, as Roxanne knows, it's right. a family affair. Uh, we'd love to have everybody come out at summer games, but certainly again, all throughout the year, we're looking for volunteers. All good stuff. Thanks folks for being here today. And if you would like more information about the Special Olympics Rhode Island, they are going to be launching this volunteer recruitment. You can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com.